morning, everyone. Welcome on. to the acronym M Soon, making something out of nothing. My name is Kimberly Wright. I hope you enjoy this beautiful day in May. It is May the 11th, 2021. Thank you for supporting and joining once again. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I hope you all are feeling well. So today I'm going to ask you to show and share once again your pieces from last week. The reason why is because I didn't get a chance to record the class. So if you need a couple of minutes to get hey, the pieces, hey, please do so. All right. So once again, I'm going to show what I did and you can get your pieces. I think, uh, I had Mr. Runny, he showed a few pieces. Miss Jean, if you have some pieces and you did not share, please do so. All right. So once again, I'm always pulling, uh, we were making uh, beautiful projects with our paper towel inserts or the tubes from inside the paper towel. I said that you are more than welcome to use uh, new, uh, sorry, toilet paper tissue rolls as well. It's the same thing, they're just shorter. And today I'm going to put in the chat the, the materials that you're gonna need for the next class. All right. So even though I said I didn't know how this piece that I did looked really, if it looked the best horizontally or vertically, I think I'm gonna present it uh, vertically, meaning like it's going to hang vertically. So this is the piece right here. It's gorgeous. And you know, the last time I said I was going to add the stones, I added just mm -hmm. the uh, rhinestones on the outside flowers, but you can see the inside flower that's actually raised on top of them has an actual rhinestone flower on it. So this could be displayed like this, but I actually like it vertical. So this mm -hmm. is from the news of uh, the toilet paper rolls, the tubes inside, and you can see the color on the sides is purple and gold, and I have some that are creamy. And so that's my piece. Um, the only thing I have to do with this is name it. Uh, the, it's such a decorative piece that I don't think I'm going to sign it on the outside. I'm just probably going to sign it somewhere on the back. All right. And so my next piece, um, I guess I'll just finish the inside while you all are watching, and then you can still be getting your pieces together. So I only have to finish the inside of one of these flowers. And one of the purples on, I'm doing these, this is a, a, a series of the other piece that I just did. It's the same flower, but it's made with the aluminum foil technique that I showed you all. So right now I'm just going to get a yellow Sharpie. Remember I said that Sharpies work really well on aluminum foil and um, mm -hmm. or uh, food coloring. However, if you want to experiment with other things, feel free. So I'm just going to quickly do the inside of this piece and I'm sort of going in a gradient of lines so it can be kind of looking like a checkerboard pattern back and forth. It only takes a couple of seconds. And that's it. And so, let's go back. I hope you all are feeling well today and very excited about our upcoming events for the rest of uh, Old Americans Month. So far, we've had Jamal Jones's uh, coloring book event. The coloring book is called Let's Unite in Color. That was uh, last Thursday. And we had a beautiful program with Miss uh, Maletta Clayton. It was our Mother's Day tea. Uh, 
with the chapeau, the tea and hat party. All right, so this is, although you might can't see it, this, the leaves in here are like a really, really light purple or lavender. And I have the top one with the darker purple, you can see the insides are gold. And I have my tails from the, or the stems coming from the flowers in green. And so although the only thing I'm going to do to this is to take my cloth and rub on the outside and smooth that down just a little bit more, but that piece is finished as well. And so those are the two pieces that we just finished. They'll look good hanging somewhere. Or, you know, I could possibly give them for gifts as well. All right. So, there's somebody please that showed their pieces last week. Miss Jean, you want to show your pieces again, please? Thank you so much. I didn't get a chance to record it last week, and I thought that your artwork was so beautiful. I, I had said I, once uh, the class was over, I looked at it, I said, I need to redo that. Okay. Mine was called Choose Your Direction. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I like how you start turning it. <laughs> Choose your direction. Yeah, that looks really beautiful with the colors and everything. Thank you. And I love that you put the flowers in the center. Is that center paper like a purple, a bluish purple? That's blue. Blue. Okay, okay. Looks really beautiful. Choose your direction. I love it. Thank you. Did you, have, did you show something else? But that was the only piece you showed last week. I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's no problem. Thank you so much, Miss Jean. All right. Is there anybody else that would like to show a piece that deals with this particular uh, genre as it pertains to the toilet paper rolls or the foil. Anybody else? I know Mr. Ronnie Clark showed a couple of pieces last week, but he's not in class today, which is okay. Miss Betty, you have anything to show? Miss Etheria, anybody? Okay, no problem. Well, I hope you all are working on these pieces and uh, still continue to uh, save some of your uh, newspaper, uh, sorry, toilet, every time you get ready to say toilet paper rolls or <laughs> or, or uh, paper towel rolls, I start saying newspaper. But anyway, continue to save the toilet paper rolls or the newspaper rolls. Auntie Evelyn! Hey, baby girl, how you doing? Good. My hey. little niece. <laughs> All right, so um, today I'm gonna put in the chat what you basically need to be saving for our next class. And you can write it down. It's very simple or you don't have to write it down. It's your choice. If, are there any questions about the work that I've showed so far? Any questions at all, feel free. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna oh, show mine. Okay. What was you saying, Ms. Jean? I was trying to say, what did you call that when we draw the sign and, and it looks like what we're describing? I forgot that one. Yeah, we draw the figure and, and it looks like what we're trying to create because I did one of those. I've kind of figured the name up. That sounds like word up. That was no. shapes. Wasn't it shapes? Something about shapes? Not Sinke. That sounds like word up. I'm saying this is this is uh, making something out of nothing. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's something out of nothing. Okay, say that one more time. Sorry, Ms. Betty. You draw the shape and what, Miss Jean? I forgot the name of it. I, let me look. I'll find it while you guys are talking. I'll find it. It, 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 you draw the shape, and it looks like what you're trying to describe. And I did one. I wanted to share it. Okay. That sounds like poetry. I will word up. 
things, just the shape form or the concrete form. Yeah, that's you're right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's okay, love. That's tomorrow. I got on the wrong bus. <laughs> okay. So what it's is all right. You on the right bus with the right people, honey. Okay, okay. <laughs> So it is Jean. Hi, Miss Parkman. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Hey, how you Good doing? Good morning. Good morning. What Miss Jean is speaking of Good tomorrow at 10:30, I have my class. Word up. Word. <laughs> it's all about poetry, spoken word, and short stories. We are writing poems called shape poems, where, for example, if I were to draw a heart on a page, then I'm gonna uh, write the poem on the outside of the, the line of the heart or even in the inside, but the poem is supposed to say something about a heart or love like that. It's called a concrete or shape poem. So if any of you want to join us uh, tomorrow for that, you still have time to write your shape or concrete poems. That's tomorrow at 1030. And so right now I'm going to go to Miss Betty to see her beautiful work. Okay. This is the rack that I'm going to hang it on, okay. and then I'm going to do my piece on the cardboard and put it under it, which I hadn't completed it, but... Oh, you mean the plate, that's right. Be careful. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to put my cardboard piece on the bottom uh, beneath it. Okay. Uh huh. Or on the next show. I like that rack. Can you? Take, I do too. Can you take your plate off and or just show the plate a little bit closer for those of that did not see it last week? Take your time. Mm -hmm. That's all we have. Yeah. Time. Yeah, okay. that's looking really beautiful. So Miss Betty said she did her uh, toilet paper two or the paper towel two rolls, a uh, pink, yellow, and what was your other color? And pur purple, pink. purple. And she has Those a purple. bird on there as well. It looks really nice. So I said to you all, even though I show you basic projects or basic. Uh, uh, instructions to do certain things, you can be take take risk and go a little further. Like Miss Jean, she added some other embellishment with those stones, and Miss Betty is adding a uh, bird, a bird, and other things. And she added hers to a plate. We were uh, adding ours to uh, cardboard, but she added to a plate. Very, very creative. Looks good. All right. So right now, I'm going to put in the chat what you all are going to need for the next project. Next project, you will need cardboard, glue, tape, like masking tape. Or any kind of tape. Clear tape. Clear tape sometimes could be a little weak. Uh, you can even use uh, what's that other tape called? I don't know why I lost my train of thought. Like the silver tape. Duct tape. Duct tape. Thank you. You can You're use right. masking tape or <clears throat> Duct tape. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You need scissors, <clears throat> paper towel, or toilet tissue tube. And for the first part of the project, that's all you need, but the second part, you're going to possibly need paint. 
So, and you could probably need a pencil or a pen. What kind of paint? Uh, acrylic, acrylic. Okay. So that's basically it. And if you decide to use any other products, it's your choice. It just means that you are taking it a step further and taking risk and being very creative. So. The next project, you will need cardboard, glue. Elmer's glue is fine, or hot glue. Masking tape or duct tape, scissors, paper towel or toilet tissue tubes, paint, pencil, or pen. Any questions about that? All right. How many of you are, of you are excited about our event? Yes, for tomorrow. The Kimberly's Corner Sipping Paint. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Can't wait. <laughs> so if there is anybody in this class that would like to receive a, a canvas, because what I gave for the sipping pack is a canvas with a pre-drawn image on it. I gave an apron and the instructions that you need. All you need to do is um, in the chat where it says to everyone, you can put to Kimberly right where to be privately and put your phone number. I will call you after the class so that you will you will have the responsibility of picking up your canvas on your own for me. You still have a, a chance to get that canvas before tomorrow if you are interested. And even if you are not participating in the painting, you are more than welcome to still come uh, to the class online to join us for the festivities and just watch and have fun. So it's all up to you. And the two pieces that I have left, which uh, the pieces were limited as it pertains to what you could receive. The two pieces that are left, if you are interested, is this piece right here. It's two hands uh, joining together, a man's hand and a woman's hand. And this piece right here. It's That's beautiful. On the rose with the wine glass, and the man is kissing her in the cheek. That's so, beautiful. Some of you have already received your canvases, and all of your canvases uh, have to deal with the theme of our Older Americans Month uh, festivities, which is communities of strength. So it's all about togetherness and having strength within the community, the community of senior citizens. All right. So, anybody can show their hand that's still interested in getting the canvas? I think you already got one, Miss Jean. <laughs> Miss Jean, you already got a canvas. Oh, I know. I said, what time? One o'clock? It's on that paper. That means you ain't read that paper yet. I read it, but I forgot about what I read. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the event is at one o'clock, but you Thanks. have to read the paper because it gives you instructions on what to do before that time. You, yes, have, to, I... you have to be set up by one o'clock, so I suggested <laughs> that you start to set up by 12, and if you need more time, you need to start by 11.30 or 11. It's up to you. <laughs> Miss Evelyn, did you say you wanted to possibly get the canvas? Yes, ma'am. Okay, are you going to, do you know how to write in the Oh, I already see it. Okay, I see it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So everybody else I see has their materials, and I'm putting your number down, lovely. All right, sorry. All right. Uh, Miss Sharon Hardnett. Yes. Um, I guess I'll call you after class as well. Okay. Did you get your hair done on Friday? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. She said she was going to the music. I was trying to make, see if she had kept her appointment. 
<laughs> yes, it's one girl. of the rules says you have to turn your camera on. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, yes. my camera on. I had it on in the car the other day uh, when we did the coloring book because I was in in the route. But oh, I, yes, put a, I put another drive to show my picture. Don't forget, young people, for the sip and paint event, I put into those instructions that it's very pertinent that you participate 100% by turning on your camera. It's nothing wrong if something's going on that you have to turn your camera off for a few minutes or whatever, but please have your cameras on so that we are all feeling like we're there together and uh, able to see what everybody's doing. So don't be shy. It's a whole uh, event of just relaxing and having fun and coming up with something beautiful that we create from start to finish. Anybody have any questions? What are we sipping? So that's going to be an instruction as well. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Destiny. Yes. Uh, will you still be having a class today with suggestions of what they can uh, make as it pertains to their drinks? Today, yes, will be the three drinks that they received with recipes they received when they picked up their uh, cans. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know if you was still doing it in the class. But anyway, Miss Evelyn, there are recipes mm. with the instructions that I that I will be giving you um, as suggestions for drinks that you can make for the sip and paint. Okay, uh -huh. thank you. And so everybody has the option to sip on whatever they want to. It's in the instructions. So all you have to do is read it. Please read those instructions thoroughly. Thank you. <laughs> And it looks like a really thick packet, but the instructions are only two pages. Everything else is like your picture that you can use as a reference to look at while you're painting. And the other uh, pages are drink uh, suggestions. Yeah. That'll work. So any suggestions or questions? We got three minutes. Anybody else want to show, share something? All right. Thank you, beautiful, beautiful young people, young ladies, and Anthony. Uh, thank you for joining Making Something Out of Nothing. My name is Kimberly Wright. I will see you all for the next class. Please have some of your materials uh, ready. If you don't, you know that you can just see the instructions and uh, possibly the next time if you if you if you don't have your instructions for the next class, you always can refer back to YouTube to get the last class of what we uh, uh, recorded, so that you can see what you possibly missed. Kim, I do have one quick question. Uh, is it okay to use the heavy duty foil for the for that project? Okay, you mean that kind of thick type of foil. Yes. Yeah. I would, ref I would prefer or to suggest that you use the more heavy duty foil anyway because you're going to be rubbing and it goes over that. Uh, so let me get this piece. Thank you, Ms. Ethereum. Okay, so you've seen at dollar stores when you buy the cheaper foil, when you tear it out, when you roll it out of the box, sometimes it tears immediately. That foil I said to you all, please don't use. It's really, really thin and it tears easily. It's too cheap. For this project, everything is raised on here. What I did, I pre-drew an image, which, is, which are the flowers on the cardboard. Even you can see this word love. I was trying to tell people you can even do a word. But after you've drawn your image, you want to go over the image with the hot glue. Once the hot glue dries, that's what makes it thick and raised. Then hmm. you're going to take some simple glue like Elmer's glue and put it on the cardboard around the, the hot glue and everything and put your foil on top of it. As you can see, even on the back, I Instead of gluing the foil down, I just put a piece of tape here and a piece of tape there. So then you're gonna take a soft cloth and rub over it until you smooth everything down around the 
raised parts of the hot glue. After that, you can add color to your aluminum foil design by using Sharpie markers. Sharpie markers. They, they adhere really well to the foil or you can use uh, food coloring. I got some food coloring and put a little bit in some containers or some, yeah, just some open containers and I got a brush and you just start brushing on it. But the only thing is with the food color, you have to give it some time to dry. The Sharpies will pretty much dry in seconds, but the food coloring may need 20 to 30 minutes to dry. But the food color is really vibrant and the Sharpies come out really vibrant, uh, bold colors on the foil. So have fun doing that. And you can do any design you like. I said to you that you can even go further to do something that's not simple, like a portrait, a picture of somebody like Dr. King. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Kim, Kim yeah. br briefly, you, did you put the cardboard um, toilet uh, paper towel roll pieces, you know, the pieces that we got, did you put those on there? Because I was confused. I couldn't Oh, I hadn't seen. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So what we did with that, Miss Jacqueline? Yeah, because I had a hard time trying to figure out what to do. I had, do it from I had uh, six, uh, six paper towel tubes. I painted I spray, those. I spray painted two purple. I spray painted two gold. And I spray painted two cream. As you can see on the side, you can see the purple ones. Yeah. See the gold. And up in here, you can see the cream. Okay. After they dried, I took a ruler and a pencil and measured uh, not an inch, but a half an inch down the paper towel tube. And I cut strips. So that's why they came out in little strips like this. Then I hot glued the pieces together like a flower. Okay. Then I assembled the pieces together. That's why you see Miss Jean had hers separate in the middle of her piece. Miss Betty had hers on the plate. You can make any design that you like. And this particular flower in the center, you can see that I had it raised on top of, it's only one in the center. You can see I had it raised on top of all of the other ones. Okay. The center piece. And then yeah. I also yeah. took a piece of cardstock, which is purple, and made the center of the flowers. And then I put rhinestone on top of the cardstock. So gotcha. you really want to be creative. Yes. Now I see. Yes, ma'am. And so, give one more second. I, once I cut my tubes, I separated them and put them in separate bags. And see, this is how the cardboard looks. But on the side, you see, this is how I cut a cream. I have a bag of cream ones and the gold ones. And so that's all you're doing. Okay. And you, I, I chose to make six petal flowers. So. All you're doing is putting a little glue here and adding the flowers together like so. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So once again, even though I'm showing you basic uh, instructions, you can take it further and wow us and think of something to do differently with the same thing. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Is the slideshow tomorrow at one, right? No, ma'am. That is the sip and paint with the canvas. Oh, okay. The canvas oh, that I just showed with the painting. Okay. Remember you said you were not able to do it, but however, if you changed your mind, 
Uh, I can call you after class. You have a chance to still pick that up today. That's tomorrow at 1 p.m. Now the art slideshow with all of your artwork that will be presented this year, that event is May the 20th. Oh, I got it. Okay. Gotcha. All you all have to do is look at that. Uh, I don't mind telling right. you. I looked at the calendar this morning, calendar. but I misunderstood. Okay. And don't forget about the culinary uh, slideshow. Miss Destiny Moss is having a culinary slideshow where uh, different participants are featuring or showcasing their recipes and the photos of their recipes uh, this year. It's called, uh, it's a cooking and well, anyway, her show is called Cooking and uh, Learning with Care. And so that's on May the 27th. May the 27th. And also, even though you all are very um, dedicated to the uh, Darnell facility, there are more events on the Old Americans Month calendar that you can participate in. For example, last... Uh, Wednesday, they had for the uh, actual kickoff for Old America's Month, they had a, a particular event where they were celebrating 95-year-olds to centenarians, which are, are 100, people that are 100 and over. It was such a really, really nice and beautiful program listening to those uh, older, elderly seniors that had so much advice for us on how to uh, possibly prolong your life and live longer. It was a really, really good program. And the the um, Older Americans Month, we had got a proclamation that uh, this month of May in Fulton County is Older Americans Month. So we had a proclamation and it was, it was just a really beautiful program. So Please join in some of those other programs. And I think they have uh, some other things going on today. Just check your calendar. Okay, thank you. No problem. So tomorrow we have the Sip and Paint, 1 p.m. And May 20th is our slideshow. May 20th is Destiny's Culinary Art Slideshow. What time May 20th? Uh, I want to say it's 10 a.m. All right, thank you so much. And if you want to join us tomorrow for our Word Up class, which is poetry, uh, even it's such a really nice class to listen to. Even if you uh, aren't writing, you know, you might get some inspiration to uh, start to put words down, some things that you think of. It's really just a nice class to actually hear others' um, pieces. So please join in for that. It's at 1030. Thank you so much once again for joining MSOOM, the acronym Making Something Out of Nothing, Recycling and Upcycling, some found objects that we uh, turn into treasure, which would normally be trash. My name is Kimberly Wright. I've enjoyed you all so much today. Thank you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful and blessed day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You guys have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, stay safe, Kimmy. Okay, you too. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, bye-bye.